Our day at the Australia Zoo started out in Brisbane. We didn't have a car, so we caught an early morning bus from Central Station straight to the zoo. Our suggestions. Arrive just before the park opens. It's really nice to walk in when there's so few people. If you're like us and don't have a car, the Greyhound bus was an easy option. We'll put the link in the description. If you do arrive early, go straight to any store, get some kangaroo food, and go feed the kangaroos. Since you'll be some of the first visitors, they'll come straight to you looking for food. Don't miss the noon show at the Crocosseum. Check out one of the wildlife encounters that they offer. We're both on the fence about zoo encounters, but decided to do a koala encounter, since we trust the Irwins to do what's best for the animals. Our encounter was a small group of four people, and we each took turns holding the koala for a few minutes. During our encounter, it really put us at ease seeing how strongly the keeper felt about the safety and happiness of the koala. If you want to see the tiger show, get there early. We arrived a few minutes after it started, and it was packed. Buy the admission ticket with the hospital sneak peek. We saw them working with a joey and a koala, and someone came and talked to us about their plans for all the animals. If you're at the park for the end of the day, spend it on Bindi's Island. That's where we spent the end of our day, and the lemurs were sitting out watching the sunset. We hope this helps you in planning your trip to the Australia Zoo. We'll have links to everything in the description. See you out there! <laughs>